everyone and welcome to the Hovercam Interactive Whiteboard Compatibility Tutorial. Before we begin, I'm going to show you an awesome new tool that Hovercam engineers created just for you to use. Go to Insert, and then click on the internet browser. Then scroll down to the bottom and type in www.thehovercam.com forward slash livecam forward slash. Through the internet browser plugin, you can see the live feed from your camera directly in Smart Notebook. You can also view this feed on the regular internet browser as well. It is important to note that all button functionalities work in this live feed. You can use autofocus, autofocus lock, rotate, zoom in, zoom out, and all that good stuff. Now that you've seen this cool feature, let's jump into how Flux 10 works seamlessly with your smart software. Hovercam Solo 8 and Ultra 8 products combined with Hovercam's proprietary Flux 10 software allow Hovercam to work easily with smart boards and smart software. Here's why. Our Solo 8 and Ultra 8 include a USB 3.0 output, which plugs right into the computer. Teachers also plug in their computers into the smart board and smart panel to use them, so it's really easy to get the Hovercam image into the smart software. In other words, any image shown in the Hovercam can be viewed in smart software. Let me show you how easy it is. First, I'm going to show you Slingshot. This allows me to bring in any image into the Smart Notebook without leaving Smart Notebook. To do this, press the Slingshot button on the Flex 10 toolbar. See how the image is minimized? It's a live image, and I can move it anywhere on the screen. Anytime I want to go back to the camera, I hit the Go Back button and the camera image appears. Select Slingshot again to minimize the image. Suppose I wanted to capture this image of a homework assignment and put it into Smart Notebook. All I have to do is hit Slingshot, and then drag the image into Smart Notebook. Did you see that? Let me do it again. Suppose I want to drag in another picture into the notebook. All I have to do is drag and drop, and it's inside Smart Notebook. See how easy that was? I didn't even have to leave the Smart software. All I had to do was drag and drop from the Slingshot tool, and I was done. Another way to bring in an image is drag and drop through the Archive Manager. Let's say you want to reference a problem that you did in a previous recording, perhaps two days ago. To view these images inside Smart Notebook, go to your Archive Manager first. Once you're inside the Archive Manager, click and select the image that you're looking for, minimize the window, and then drag the image into the Smart Notebook. Next, suppose you want to work with the live camera image on the Smart Notebook. To do this, use Smart's Transparency Mode. First, click View, and then Transparent Background. This will allow the Smart Notebook to become transparent, then maximize the Flux 10 window. If you notice on the bottom left-hand side, there's still Smart tools that are floating over the live image. It's a live image. You can still annotate, erase, and use other tools found in the Smart Notebook while in transparency mode. To exit out of transparency mode, select the tool second from the right hand side that looks like a computer and it'll bring you back to Smart Notebook. 